when I was, I think I was 10 years old, one of my jobs in the house was to bring out the rubbish. And I remember this particular day, it was a Saturday. My mom told me, Brian, the rubbish is full. I want you to please take it out now. And I responded, yeah, mom, I'll get to it. Don't worry. Probably about an hour later, he said, Brian, you still haven't brought it out. Please bring out the rubbish now. I said, Mom, don't worry. I got it. I'll, I'll get right to it. I just need to finish what I'm doing. Another half hour, 45 minutes later, he said, Brian, I want you to bring out the rubbish now. There'll be a consequence if you don't. I said, Mom, don't worry about it. I will get to it. I think it was about a half an hour, maybe an hour later, I went into my room and the rubbish was in my bed. I learned in that moment that there are consequences for not doing what I'm supposed to do. And that really is true in our faith life. Too often, as Christians, we get focused on the Ten Commandments as the idea our faith is just about not doing the wrong thing. As long as we don't do the wrong thing, then we can avoid punishment. We can avoid hell. But the reality is that our life, our faith life, is not simply about avoiding the wrong. Our faith life is intended to really be a life of action. And the sin of omission, the sin of not doing the right thing when we're supposed to, for Jesus is just as serious and sometimes even more serious than doing the wrong thing. I mean, just think about the story in Matthew chapter 25, the the sheep and the goats, where Jesus separates the sheep from the goats. And the sheep, he says, you know, when I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was in prison, you visited me. Lord, when did you do this? When did we do this for you? Whenever you did it for the least of my brothers and sisters. Then he said to the, uh, the goats, when I was hungry, you did not feed me. When I was thirsty, you did not give me to drink. When I was naked, you did not clothe me. When I was in prison, you did not visit me. Lord, when didn't we do this? Whenever you didn't do it for the least of my brothers and sisters, you didn't do it for me. And he sends them to a, well, a nasty place. Because that's the truth of our faith. Again, our faith is not a faith of avoid, avoidance. Our faith is a faith of action. A faith that calls us to truly each and every day live out what it is, live out who it is that Christ calls us to be. And it means recognizing and seeing in each and every person an opportunity to serve Christ. And that's what our faith is about. Our faith is not about what we get. Our faith is about how we can serve others, how we can become the instrument of Christ in the world, how we can become his presence to others. And we do that by recognizing his presence in others, even and the non-baptized because they are simply loved by God and that is enough for us to see Christ within them. Christ is connected to every human being that exists and we have a responsibility therefore to serve every single person that exists. And when we don't, when we choose to look away, when we choose not to act, 
we are essentially choosing not to serve Christ, not to be his presence, not to be his instrument. There is ultimately a reason I believe Jesus ascended into heaven and didn't stay on earth. Because if he was here, in a sense, there'd be no reason for us to be his presence because his presence would be here. But as St. Teresa of Avila would say, we are called to be his hands and his feet. And that's the reality of our faith. And the reality is, therefore, there are consequences when we choose not to act. There are consequences when we choose not to be his hands and his feet. There are consequences when we choose not to be his voice, his voice of love and compassion, his voice of hope and joy, his voice of potential of what can be. when we choose to love and act unconditionally. I learned a lesson that day when the rubbish ended up into my bed, that there are consequences when we choose not to act. Again, Jesus made that very clear in chapter 25 of Matthew. Let us then today to decide to truly begin to live out our faith. Let us today decide to truly be the hands and the feet of Jesus. Let us today decide to truly be his presence and to actively live out our faith by recognizing Christ in others and serving them as we would serve Christ. God bless.